guys, so finally I'm here with my last Disney princess inspired tutorial and that is Merida from the movie Brave and this is the second Disney princess movie that I have never seen before other than the princess and the frog and surprisingly enough both of their looks involve greens. So with that being said, this is my last tutorial in this series. I do plan on doing like an everyday series within that there will be three different looks of looks that I do every single day, just basic neutral looks, nothing too exciting, but I've decided to do those just because I haven't done an everyday look in quite a while. So that's just going to be a mini series that I do in between a bigger series clearly, but I have no idea what new series I want to do. So if you guys want to put any suggestions for any new series that you think would be awesome, try to stray away from Disney just because I just did Disney for like two months. Um, so try to st stray away from Disney. I will come back to Disney. I love Disney. But um, try and find like maybe some characters from a TV show or like a movie maybe. I don't really know. I have no idea. So that's why I'm asking for your guys' suggestions. So I hope you guys leave some really awesome ones and I hope you guys enjoyed my Disney Princess series. So if you would like to see how I got my Merida or Brave or whatever inspired look then keep on watching. I'm going to start by priming my eyes using my e.l.f. eyelid primer. Then like with all my other cut crease tutorials, and I've only done one, I'm going to be taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, which is a white, and putting that just right along the lash line and blending that onto the lid only. And then to do the actual cutting the crease, I like to use like a pencil that's the same color as the shadows I'm going to be using. So I'm taking the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil. This one is called Summertime, which is a lime green. I used this one in my Tiana tutorial. And I'm just going to drag it out from the lashes. And it's a little harder using these Jumbo Pencils, but I actually prefer it because they're more creamy than an actual eyeliner. And then I'm going to just cut the crease. So I'm just going to draw it right into my crease like that. Then I'm going to take a small concealer like um, brush which is like a small brush like this one from My Glam that's really dense and I'm just going to take that color and blend it upward and I prefer to use the brush rather than my finger because my finger would just smudge it everywhere whereas the brush can just blend it easily. And for the shadows, surprise, surprise, I'm using the BH Cosmetics BH Party Girl palette. This palette has every color that you need. I mean there's really nothing wrong with this palette. I'm going to start by working with the crease first, so I'm taking the Sonia Kashuk crease brush and I'm going to start by taking this deep green right here and just putting this right into the crease like so and it looks messy, I, I understand. And I'm taking the darker green right here and putting this into the crease as well. Then I'm going to be taking an e.l.f. Professional eyeshadow brush and mixing these two colors right here, this light green and that dark green we used at the beginning. And that's going to be our lid only color. So I'm placing that right onto the lid, not going any further up. Then taking the matte white in my Urban Decay eyeshadow brush, I'm going to use this color as my under the brow highlight. For liner, I'm going to be using the Marbella Permanent Eyeliner Pen. Not creating any sort of perfect line, I'm actually just going to smudge this into the lashes. For the waterline, I'm going to be using a black, so I'm taking the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner in New York. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. And then for just a little bit of an inner corner highlight, I'm just taking the NYX Pencil and Milk again and just putting that right in the center and then patting on it. And that's it for your eyes. And then for the cheeks, I want to keep things sort of neutral but still have some color, so I'm taking the e.l.f. Blush in Tickled Pink, which looks like this. And then for the lips, I'm going to be taking my NYX Lip Gloss in Sweetheart, which is just like a nudie pink color. So that's it for my Merida inspired look. I hope you guys enjoy. And again, if you have any suggestions for any upcoming series of tutorials, please feel free to let me know. I cannot wait to get started on a new series. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.